it is time for the divisional round of these 2023 NFL playoffs. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to this Madden Superstar Career Mode. We are going up against the fifth seed of the Buccaneers. This will be our second matchup against the Bucs this season. As you know, we faced them in week one and picked up the victory. We're going up against them. We got the one seeded Falcons going up against the seven seeded Panthers who upset the Cowboys. And on the AFC side, we got the one seeded Bills and the six seeded Chiefs. And then we got the two seeded Chargers, my personal favorite team, and the fifth seeded Dolphins. So that AFC side is a lot more interesting than this, than this NFC side. Um, I'm expecting a win, obviously, but you never know, especially with this Buccaneers team in Madden. They're pretty, pretty decent. But without further ado, we won't waste any time. I already did all these, God, like last episode, which was, I don't even know how long. But let's head into this game against the 10-7 Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And let's see if we can punch our ticket to another NFC Championship. U.S. Bank Stadium, home of the Vikings and home of this divisional round matchup. Between the Vikings and the Buccaneers, Baker Mayfield, Mike Evans, and Chris Godwin against Kirk Cousins, Jay Jettas, and that man right there, the NFL MVP, the Rookie of the Year, and Offensive Player of the Year, C.J. Lewis. This one should be great. The Buccaneers have a fantastic defense. Offense a bit iffy, but it should make for a great matchup. And the Buccaneers strike first, and if you did not know, I will be after this season of CJ as he starts off with a big run. Ah, oh, it could have been a lot bigger. Six yards. After season one of CJ, I will not be going into season two. I will actually be transitioning him to a quarterback and doing a quarterback superstar mode. I'm not sure if I'm going to do it in the actual superstar mode or I might go to franchise. I'm leaning towards franchise as CJ Lewis is going to break free. Can he beat a man? Jukes him. But 23 gets there in time. What a run, 38 yards for Lewis gets us into Tampa Bay territory. And we're going to go with the verticals. Maybe TJ Hawkinson can get open here. Kirk, just keep the ball with us. Do not turn it over and just give it to me to be safe. Going to get a solid gain of eight. But yes, CJ Lewis will be going to quarterback. I will be playing the quarterback position um, after this season is through Super Bowl or not. Because running back's fun. But not having full control over your offense is not great. As C.J. Lewis, stiffs arms, cannot get there. But another great gain. And the Chargers just, oh my god, they got spanked. No. I really wanted to face the Chargers in the Super Bowl. I will not lie. But they got destroyed by the Dolphins there. That sucks. I will not lie. Kirk Cousins, I got a great block. He gives it up to 84. And it is a gain of about 5. And the Chiefs get taken out by the Bills, as you can see down below. Very, very interesting divisional round we got here. C.J. Lewis breaks to the outside, dives in! Touchdown, Vikings! We tie it up. What a run by C.J. Lewis, and he's hitting the gritty. Gets to the outside, dives for the touchdown. Let's see this play again. C.J. Lewis, just a mastery. Gets around, dives in, getting hit, and the Vikings tie it up here. The Buccaneers come away with no points on their second possession of the game. We have a chance to capitalize here. C.J. Lewis is already putting up a fantastic game. Jukes another man, but only gets four, and we lose Brian O'Neill for what feels like the 80th time of the season. And the seven-seeded Panthers take out the one-seeded Falcons, the Panthers. As the last wild card team are heading to the NFC Championship for the first time since the Cam Newton era. So the winner of this game will be taking on Bryce Young and the Panthers. That's insane. The seven seed, nine win, barely 500 Panthers move on to the come NFC Championship game. But right now it's looking like it's going to be Dolphins, Bills, Panthers, and either Vikings or Buccaneers. Very, very interesting. Something that no one probably saw coming. Third and seven here. I am definitely going to go a pass. Um, it seems like the best option here. I feel like they're going to sniff out a run. And uh, Kirk Cousins to CJ Lewis for the first down. Third and five. 
Uh, we in field goal range? I feel like we're not. I'm going to take the risk. I see what might be a gap. I might... Levante David there might... Yup, he's going to go through that gap. We get the blocks, but we don't get a good run. No yards for Lewis. Hopefully, we're in field goal range. I don't know who our kicker is, but I'm hoping he has a good enough leg. And he did not. Uh, the Vikings do not get points, and the Buccaneers get a touchdown and are up 14-7. This would be a disappointing way to go out if it is. Let's go. I juke. Probably should. No, juke into the inside was definitely the right move there. It's just Carlton Davis did not fall for it. And we're going to have to rely on the pass game a bit here. Um, we're going to go a little bit of, I think this is play action. It might not be. It is not. And he's going to get it to Jordan Addison, who holds on for the first down. Oh, big catch. Lewis, if the ball wasn't so high, I might have been able to go for a bigger gain. But it's a good idea that that ball was high or else it might have been deflected or even worse, picked off. What a pass by Cousins. A big one at that as we're moving down the field. I'm going to sit back. I'm going to go over here. I'm wide open again. Kirk Cousins throws another dot to Lewis. And we're at the 33. Kirk Cousins with no incompletions today. I mean, a lot of those completions, five out of the seven, are to Lewis, who breaks free. Jed Jefferson with the block, diving in. He doesn't get in. Lewis is a yard short. Oh, that was so close. What a run by Lewis. What a block by Justin Jefferson there to make that play happen. And Lewis, can he get the blocks? He just waltzes right in. Touchdown, Vikings. They tie it up late in the second quarter. First play of the second half. Tied up. They have 46 rushing yards to our 140. Lewis is going to add on to that total. Jukes a man. C.J. Lewis. Eight, not 80. What is that? 79 yards. And that's a touchdown. What a run. C.J. Lewis gives the Vikings the lead. Largest run of the game. It might be the largest run of the playoffs for not only Lewis, but all of the NFL jukes. I think that's Antoine Winfield runs, basically jogs down the field. What a touchdown. Three touchdowns on the day, 219 yards. And the Buccaneers do not answer back. And what do they do? They go and put Justin Jefferson in press coverage. What a mistake. We're going to put Hawkinson on a block as if you, if you knew around here. Kirk Cousins loves passing to TJ Hawkinson. Justin Jefferson, he's not going to find him. Oh, my God. What are you doing, Jordan Addison? That is not on Kirk. Jordan Addison, what are you doing, rookie? It bounces out of his hands and is picked off by Levante David. That's got to be one of the realest anima um, animations I've seen from Madden, though. I won't lie. But, man, that sucks because they're probably going to score. And the Buccaneers do just that. They take advantage of the turnover. That's just such such bad luck. And then I'm going to take a loss of yardage there. That does not help our case. Oh, boy. That turnover is a huge, huge momentum shifter here. Not great. We're going to go to the weak side here. Hope for the best. Levante David, great block by Ham, the fullback, and we get the first. Oh, CJ's, oh, he might not be gone, okay. Another big gain, but it looked like he might have broke free there for the touchdown, but he's got 270 yards. He's probably going to end with 300 yards on the ground without a doubt. We're actually going to go pass here. All right, KJ Osborne might be the primary route here. Let's see if he can get it. Nope, he's going to give it to Justin Jefferson. I am perfectly fine with that. God, the interception, dude. Kirk was playing such a good game up until that pick. That wasn't even his fault. That sucks, dude. He was playing so well. And go back to the ground with Lewis. And what, what happens? What's the result? Touchdown, Vikings. We're going to take a seven-point lead. Third and three here. I am. My X Factor's gone. It was second and two, but I lost a yard, and I also lose my X Factor. But it doesn't matter. Touchdown, no. Nearly touchdown number five. Most likely I can get it here. 
Let's see what their defense looks like. I'm going to try and go for it. Try and get touchdown number five here. Kirk Cousins hands it off. C.J. Lewis. He doesn't get in. C.J. Lewis cannot get in the end zone. Let's see if he can do it right here. We ran hurry up. C.J. again. He cannot push his way through. Come on, boys. Come on. Let's go. Hike it. CJ gets it on the third time. Vikings take a 14 point lead. CJ Lewis, look at the name. Five touchdowns. And the Buccaneers turn the ball over and give it right back. That's going to do it. No matter what, we're probably walking out with the score here. CJ up the middle. He doesn't have the speed, but back to the seven yard line. Honestly, we score here again. We score, We I might be able to hit 400. You heard me right, 400 rushing yards. Let's see, Lewis to the outside. Jukes the man, only gets four on the three yard line. Again, to the end zone, not only is that touchdown number six, but it might give us time. CJ in the end zone, touchdown number six for Lewis. Vikings dominating right now in the second half. And if we get the ball back, we might be able to hit five. No, I'm sorry, 400 rushing yards. 48 seconds left. I'm not sure if we're going to get the 500, 500, 400 yards. We need 46. But, I mean, they're calling the timeouts, actually. We don't even need to. We don't even need to call the timeouts. They got us. They got us. Let's see. The blocking is there. And Lewis is running. 14 more yards. They're still calling timeouts. Even though the game is over. Lewis needs to get to the five yard line. And he can have 400 rushing yards on the day. The six touchdowns wasn't enough. They used their last timeout. That was a bad, bad play there. But I'm going to use my three timeouts. I'm not going to lie. Let's see. No! What is this blocking? I'm not going to get it. I'm not going to get it. That blocking was horrific. It was horrific on that play. And I'm probably going to fall short of the rushing goal. I cannot break. I, I lose even more yards there. That's sad because I could have easily got it, but I didn't. And that is going to do it. Your Minnesota Vikings are heading to the NFC Championship to take on the seventh-seeded Carolina Panthers and what a game. 38 rushing attempts, 379 yards, 79 yards, six touchdowns, and 70 receiving yards from Lewis. And that is going to do it for me. Leave a like if you guys did enjoy. Subscribe if you guys are new. GG.